Hello and welcome back to Gail Blaine News. In today's story, we'll be looking at uh, Donald Trump and his um, him denouncing the um, cancel culture at an event held on the 4th of July. US President Donald Trump has rallied against the cancel culture of those who toppled monuments during recent anti-racism protests in a speech to mark the 4th of July at Mount Rushmore. He condemned those who targeted statues of Confederate leaders as angry mobs. Mr. Trump called the racial equality uh, demonstrations a merciless campaign to wipe out our history, defame our heroes, erase our values, and indoctrinate our children. We will not be silenced, he said. The president, who has been heavily criticized for his handling of the US coronavirus pandemic, made little reference to the disease has now claimed almost 130,000 American lives. The US recorded its largest single-day rise in coronavirus infections on Friday, bringing the total to more than 2.5 million, the most of any country. Masks and social distancing were not mandatory at the Mount Rushmore event, despite warnings by health officials. The location, too, was controversial. Mount Rushmore features the carved faces of four US presidents, two of whom, George Washington, and Thomas Jefferson were slave owners. It also stands on land that was taken from the indigenous Lakota Sioux um, by the US government in the 1800s. Uh, addressing Mount Rushmore itself, the president said the South Dakota landmark would stand forever as an eternal tribute to our forefathers and to our freedom. This monument will never be desecrated, and those heroes will never be defaced, he told the cheering crowd. The president added that people who target symbols of national heritage will face the fullest extent of the law. He said those who deface statues could be sentenced to 10 years in jail, referring to a recent executive order he signed on protecting monuments. A fireworks display set to music was then held at the pre-independence day event, watched by about 7,500 ticket holders. The fireworks were the first at the site in over a decade. After a ban was imposed over fears they could set off wildfires in the dry brush around the monument. Welcoming people to the event, South Dakota's Republican Governor Christy Noem echoed the president's tone, accusing demonstrators of trying to wipe away the lessons of history. This is being done deliberately to discredit America's founding principles, she said. Friday's gathering was the latest to be held by President Trump during the coronavirus pandemic, as he attempts to fire up his supporters ahead of November's presidential election. Native American groups have criticized Mr. Trump's visit for posing a health risk and for celebrating US independence in an area that is sacred to them. Many Native Americans do not celebrate Independence Day because they associate it with colonization of their tribal homelands and the loss of their cultural freedoms. The Mount Rushmore landmark was carved between 1927 and 1941. But the land it lies on in the Black Hills of South Dakota was taken from the Lakota Sioux uh, during the previous century. The president is putting our tribal members at risk to stage a photo op at one of our most sacred sites, said Harold Frazier, uh, chairman of the Chien River Show tribe. Ahead of the event, a group of mostly Native American protesters blocked a main road to the monument with white vans, leading to a tense standoff with police. They were eventually cleared from the road by police officers and National Guard soldiers who used smoke bombs and pepper spray, local reports say. The vans were towed away and several protesters were arrested after the police declared the roadblock an un unlawful assembly, local newspaper The Argus Leader reported. So what do you think of uh, this ongoing situation? Um, of course, uh, Donald Trump is going to be continuing to uh, rally uh, the people he has uh, in these events because he has an election which is coming up, I can't remember when, I think it might be November um, this year, so he wants as much support even with the ongoing coronavirus. Um, it's quite right that actually people aren't allowed to destroy areas um, and that um, those who do are punished for it, and um, they've done the same in um, England. Uh, they're putting uh, tougher offences for um, some of the statues that have been uh, destroyed as a result um, of the um, Black Lives Matter UK uh, protests. 
Um, whatever you think, leave your comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe.